It's Thursday, October 11th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, some drivers on Vancouver Island woke up to a spike in gasoline prices. Some stations increased prices by 15 cents a litre at the pumps. That a direct result of this week's pipeline explosion north of Prince George. The explosion affecting natural gas shipments to refineries in Washington state. They in turn supply gas to the Pacific Northwest. Prices could rise in other areas as well. Meantime, police and or RCMP inspector Sean Wright says there's no indication Tuesday night's pipeline explosion was criminal in nature. Police are working with Enbridge, the National Energy Board and Transportation Safety Board to determine the cause. Wright says their top priority is to ensure public and officer safety. About 100 people were evacuated temporarily as a result of that explosion. An emotional farewell to Maxine DeHart's United Way Ramada Hotel drive through breakfast Thursday. The breakfast raised a little more than $110,000. That's more than double last year's record-setting event. After 20 years, DeHart is bringing the annual fundraiser to an end. Over that time, the drive through breakfast has raised more than $900,000 for United Way charities. A small landslide sometime between Tuesday night and Wednesday morning near a controversial proposed development in Summerland causing some confusion among citizens concerned over who's responsible for it. The roughly 50 meter slide took some trees down with it as it progressed down a steep hill off the Faircrest Street and Bristow Road areas. The land in question is privately owned. The municipality says it's been in contact with landowners. A stretch of the Trans-Canada Highway near Three Valley Gap has reopened to traffic. A portion of highway between Revelstoke and Sycamuse closed for more than two hours while crews dealt with downed power lines across the road. A few tense moments at Kelowna International Airport Thursday morning after the pilot of a single-engine plane reported potential mechanical issues. As a result and a precaution, emergency crews were scrambled to the area. Fortunately, the privately owned Quest Kodiak landed without incident. Downtown Kelowna will come alive with the sound of music. It's the Breakout West Music Festival, and it'll take over the city. I expect to go out to uh, multiple venues throughout the course of the night and see a bunch of music that they may have heard of, they may not have heard of, and they'll find something that blows them away. More than 60 bands and artists will be performing in downtown bars and restaurants over the next three days. Festivities kick off Thursday evening at the Kelowna Community Theatre, featuring performances, uh, performances from Halifax's Like a Motorcycle, Vancouver's Little Destroyer, and Kelowna's The Wild. Penticton's Discovery Housers received over $30,000 in donations from Parker's Chrysler and Janet Parker. That's a result of a fundraiser in September and a personal donation from Janet in memory of her late son. Parker's Chrysler raised $5,900 during the month of September, committing $100 for each vehicle sold to the charity, which provides addiction recovery support to men in the community. Wednesday was the first day voters across BC could cast ballots for the October 20th civic elections. And while those voting in advance polls in Kelowna were down significantly over previous years, numbers were up in other jurisdictions. Peachland, West Kelowna and Lake Country all showed increases over 2014. More advanced polls are scheduled prior to general election day. A key member of the Penticton V's front office is leaving the BC Hockey League team. David Michaud, Director of Corporate Partnerships, is leaving at the end of the month to pursue an opportunity in Vernon, or in Victoria rather. He'll become president of Key Corp Sports and Entertainment, which owns the Victoria Shamrocks of the Western Lacrosse Association. And October is always a great time to visit Davis and Orchards in Vernon. Every weekend this month, the Orchards celebrates Family Pumpkin Fest. They offer rides to their pumpkin patch and offer pumpkins in all shapes and sizes, including pink and blue pumpkins. Okanagan weather, our balmy October should stretch at least through the weekend. Should be mainly sunny, highs reaching 14, chilly overnight, lows plus one to minus one. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, a bloody twist to Nikki Nikki Nine Doors, and a study shows BC's higher speed limits are killing more motorists. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.